Hello everybody, Jake here for FM Scout and today's episode of Wonder Kids to Superstars, I'm going to tell you now before we get into it, it's absolutely incredible. The growth that this guy has is absolutely insane. He's quite an unknown player playing for a club that not many people will know about or take much interest in, but he goes on to be one of the best players at the end of his simulation. So he's absolutely nuts, we'll get into all of that in a second, but before you go and skip ahead in the video, just one thing I would like to say, you will see I do have the pen here. This is the in-game editor, I've now bought it. Now I assure you, I can promise you, I have not adjusted any of these guys' attributes. All I use this for is to swap people between teams, and I also use it to make sure that this player's potential is set to the highest end of his range. If you don't already know, Wonder Kids have a potential range, so let's say it's between 150 and 180. It's not the case for this player, I'm not going to tell you his exact potential range until at the end of the video, just in case you guys don't want it spoiled. But for example, if you did have a player with a potential range of 150 to 180, that means when you load up a save they can be anywhere between 150 or 180 and although they can still be a really good player at potential of 150 at 180 they're obviously got much better chance of growing into a top tier player now that being said in these videos from now on i want to make sure that you guys are seeing the best versions of these players obviously it's a youtube video we want it to be entertaining we want it to be good to look at but also so that i don't have a potential ability set to the lowest without knowing and then he doesn't look like a very good player in the end puts you guys off him and you don't end up buying him so this is best case scenario but i think for this player even if he doesn't perform form just as good as he does here even if it's just a little bit less he's still going to be an incredible player i promise you that so with that being said don't forget to hit the like button if you do enjoy today's video it really helps us out in pushing these videos out to more people subscribe if you do enjoy the content and hit that notification bell to be notified every time we upload and finally if you want to comment a wonder kid that you'd like to see in these videos in the future do let us know and yeah hopefully you do enjoy today's video and we're going to get straight into the player so you can see we are here in turkey's one league and i believe this isn't the top division looking at it i think it's their second best division if I've got that wrong, correct me, but it's at Altin Nordo. Now, the player isn't here because I've already moved him to the team we'll be testing him at, which is Porto, but he starts off here and you can get him for anywhere between two to five million. I would imagine you have to have this league loaded. I don't know, maybe just having the Turkish first division loaded with a large database might help you. But just to be safe, I would load Turkish leagues with the top two leagues. Anyway, for between two to five million, we can bring this guy into the club. So let's go look at him. And here he is now, the 16-year-old Turkish international Burak Inse. He's a central attacking midfielder who can also play in the central midfield role if you used him on a more forward thinking role. But really, he doesn't have the defensive attributes to do any of the defending. So if you are playing him in centre mid, do be aware of that, I think. With his technical ability, I'm going to use him in the attacking midfield role. What we're going to do is we're going to simulate three years at Porto. And then I brought him over to Chelsea and he spent four years at Chelsea. So it's I like seven seasons of growth, I think. He's about 23 by the end of it. I don't know the specifics of how many seasons I did. I think it's seven or eight. But yeah, he grows into an absolute monster of a player. We can see here the Porto staff value him at a one and a half star player. So not the best, but he is 16. Most people probably aren't going to buy this guy with the intention of putting him in the first team straight away. And he has a potential star rating. And again, I have made a video on this before. Don't always trust a star rating. But in this case, I think it's quite useful to see that he can potentially be one of the best players in Porto's team. He's a left footed central attacking midfielder, tries killer balls often, already has that trait on him, which is quite useful. Physically, he needs a bit of work, to be honest. He's not the best physically. A little bit of agility, but other than that, it's not the best. Mentally, again, you, kind of a similar story, but things that will help him in his role, like vision, flair, composure, decisions, are already at a pretty nice level for a 16-year-old. And then technically is obviously where he shines. He already has a blue attribute. Blue for me is 16 plus, and that is technique. He's a good passer, good at penalty taking, good at free kicks, decent at corners. So maybe a set piece guide for your team if you want to get him. Crossing at 14, dribbling at 13, and yeah, just a pretty solid player a pretty good young prospect at the age of 16 i know there's a lot of hype around him in turkey right now now i will say it says we got him for three million here that's because i just brought him over using the editor but i can tell you that i've tried to buy him before i had the editor and he's around two to five million i managed to get him for 2.4 million once i just brought three million in as i thought that's a middle ground and yeah middle ground for the player give you guys an accurate representation of what you will be expecting to pay for a player like this so i know some of you guys are interested in this so let's go and have a look at his training i have set him on double intensity as i I always do in these things just to make sure that he rises quickly again it will increase his risk of injury but i'm hoping he'll be okay training him in the advanced playmaker role with passing as his additional focus now if you guys know already the attacking midfielder role doesn't seem to get the best return in terms of goals and assists but i'm hoping we'll do okay and i'm also not fully set on this passing additional focus i'll let you know if i do change it even though i'm going to show you him in three years time i will be stopping myself and editing it each year so his additional focus doesn't really matter but i'm basically going to be working on the attributes that are important 
year by year for his playing position. Mentoring wise, he's been mentored by Octavio and Pepe, two quite influential players at the club, Pepe being a team leader with perfectionist personalities, and they're apparently given him a significant impact, and they both have pretty decent determination too, something that, in this save at least, Burak doesn't have a very high determination, he only has 10, so he might struggle to reach his potential, but I'm hoping he'll be okay. So now we're going to simulate three years ahead, check out how he's done in his three years at Porto, see whether he's been a success, and then we'll move him over to Chelsea. So let's quickly do a quick time travel, and we can see him here, Burak Insay, who was valued at lower than a million pounds, I think, when we looked at him earlier, he's now valued at 24 million pounds at the age of 19 in this Porto squad. So here is the Turkish international, and we can see he is flew up in terms of his attributes already. First of all, we can see he's on quite a lot of money, class as an important player, made his Turkish international debut, scoring two goals in eight appearances. He's a three and a half star player, according to the coaches, with the potential to be all the way as a five star player, which is obviously the best rating possible. Labelled as a wonder kid, he now argues with officials, which I think he got off Pepe, if I was checking it right as the years went on, because obviously I was editing it each year, making sure he was on the right training and all that stuff. He runs with the ball often. Physically, we've seen some nice improvements, which is really good to see because obviously physically he was lacking before. His agility is at a very high level, which is one of the things that he needs for his role, highlighted in blue. He's a lot quicker now too and does have good stamina and natural fitness. Hopefully, we'll still see some improvements there, but like I say, he is only 19 room to grow and then mentally he's improved massively with 17 vision now 16 decisions and 16 composure alongside a nice bit of flair anticipation work rate teamwork off the ball i mean this guy's pretty much got the lot for us 19 year old if he did have a little bit more determination that would be useful but i think overall this guy looks absolutely insane probably one of the best young players in the world in this save at least just because of how good he looks and I think that's really brought home by his technical attributes. If you look, he's got 17 technique, 14 penalty taking, 16 passing, 14 long shots. So you can probably hit a few from long range. 16 free kicks, 16 first touch, 15 dribbling, 14 crossing and 12 corners. What an absolute beast this guy has became in his few years here. And he's still got a lot of room to grow. I'll tell you that like... When we simulate a bit further ahead, when he's in like his 22, 23 years at Chelsea in the Premier League, he is absolutely nuts. So let's go and have a look at how he did in game wise. And I think he did pretty well in this first season. There was a bit of an issue where he wasn't playing much. I think he didn't get registered, but it didn't really matter. He was getting a lot of training. He was very young, might not have been ready to play the first team games just yet. But then I made sure he was registered in the next seasons. And we can see on average, let's just mainly look at these two seasons because that's when he played his most games. He's getting roughly a 7.15 to 7.2. Let's say a 7.15 match rating across two seasons. He scored eight goals with seven assists and four player of matches this season. And then the next season where he played more games, not as many goals, a few more assists and a couple player of matches there. So he's doing quite well for himself at Porto. He's definitely one of their best players. I believe Porto are winning the league, but we'll look at his landmarks and all that at the end of it when we've done all the years when he's in the Premier League. So with that being said, I think he is a top, top level player at the age of 19. We're going to fast forward now after his few years at Chelsea. He'll be about 23, I think he is, when we get to that point. And if you think he looks good now, he's going to look really good then. But I will just quickly show you, because we do lose these when we move him over to Chelsea, at least based on the way that I do it, you can see that he's had some absolutely incredible growth. Like, like I do promise you, I haven't used the editor. I haven't gone and changed anything other than making sure his potential ability was at the higher point of his range. And I didn't even max that out. I only put it towards the high end. I didn't even put it as his maximum potential. So technically, he could get better than this. Now, physically, we can see he's absolutely nuts. Plus threes, plus fours across the board, really upgrading his physical game, which you do often see in young players. But at that level, I don't really, I've never seen it at this high level, to be honest. Again, mentally, he's gone up fives and fours and threes and twos and a plus six in anticipation. I've never seen anything like it. Obviously, a lot of game time in the position that he's getting used to, a lot of training in the position that he's now playing is going to help him. And then technically, he hasn't grown as much. But I think it's good that we've got these mentals and physicals because this will really set a basis for him to develop and be a key player in the Premier League when we move him over. Now, bear in mind, when we do move him over to the Premier League, we're not going to see as big numbers as this because the team that he'll move to will only have the progress reports of since he joined that club. So we're not going to have plus fives and plus fours. It will more just be like tuning up a couple of his attributes. And if he did get, say, another plus three in anticipation, it's just going to say plus three and not like plus nine, putting it together. Hope that does make sense. But yeah, we're going to move on now after his few years in the Premier League, and we're going to move him to Chelsea Football Club. So we are here seven seasons in the future of 2027. We moved Borak Ince to Chelsea. Now Chelsea is the club that I support. And if you do want to watch a Chelsea save, I do have one going on my channel, which the link will be in the description if you want to go check that out. It would mean a lot if you do, because we're getting close to 1,000 subscribers now. We've recently passed 900. So it's that last push now to get us to 1,000. So if you want to go check that out, that would mean a lot. A lot of you guys are enjoying the Chelsea save. And finally, one last plug. I do have a Football Manager Twitter now, which I'm going to start using. 
So if you do want to follow me on that, the link will be in the description to that too. But yeah, Burak Inse is at Chelsea. We can see that they've won the league by a pretty large margin. And that wasn't the case when he first joined. But I think Burak has had a really good impression on this Chelsea team. We can see here he has the most assists. Quite annoying that he's the only one without a face, but that just goes to show how unknown this guy is. But here we go. Let's go and have a look at his attributes now. And wow, what a player this is. He's a four and a half star star player, apparently, playing for this Chelsea team. 31 appearances for Turkey now at the age of 23, scoring six goals, valued at £75 million. Bear in mind, guys, he was only like two to five million at the start of this save. Even if you don't get the same growth that I have here, you're still going to be able to sell him for double, triple the money that you buy him for at least. And hopefully you can get these kind of results where we're going to be selling him for, that's what, more than 10 times what we paid for him by a long distance. And player traits wise, he has got a couple more now. I think he, that's new, comes deep to get ball, plays one twos and likes to switch the ball to wide areas. One of them isn't new, I don't think. But yeah, you can see he's got some nice traits. Class as a midfield orchestra at the age of 23 gotta be one of Turkey's best players no? Yeah we can see he's classed as one of Turkey's best players now he's definitely the best in my eyes and physically he's pretty much stayed where we thought he was he's gained a bit more acceleration if I'm remembering right off the top of my head but like I say he's an attacking midfielder he doesn't need to do that much and I think right here them physical attributes are perfectly fine would be nice if he was a bit pacier but we're not going to complain when we look at all the dark blues. I've never had a player grow like this in one of these tests before. And mentally, you can see he's been absolutely phenomenal. 18 vision, 17 off the ball, 16 flair, 16 decisions, 17 composure and 16 anticipation. I'm out of breath reading all of them. But there's some even more that I haven't even mentioned, like his work rate and stuff. He just looks really, really good mentally. He doesn't need much more. And mental attributes do develop over the time. So the fact that he's 23 and these could still develop, it's nuts. It's not, I can't say anything more than that. And technically, 19 technique, 17 passing, 16 long shots, 12 finishing now, 16 dribbling, 17 first touch and 17 free kick taken. I'm not sure I've seen a player better than this, like a wonder kid grow better than this. If you get rid of like regens and stuff, this has got to be one of the best I've seen. Like if you were comparing him to say like Haaland or something like that, you wouldn't see that many differences. Of course, Haaland's a different player being a striker. But in terms of like the amount of really good attributes this guy has, it's absolutely insane. Now let's go and have a look at how many goals and assists he did get while playing in his four years at Chelsea. We moved him over for around 30 odd million pounds. In his first season in the Premier League, he hit a seven average match rating with three player to matches, 11 assists and nine goals. Next season, he slowed down a little bit, didn't have one of his best seasons, so we'll ignore that, but still a pretty good season in the attacking midfield role for Chelsea. Then he went on in the next season to get an average of seven again with eight goals and nine assists. And then this season when he's been 23, he's absolutely stormed it. 13 goals, 13 assists, the most assists in this Chelsea team. And if we look across all competitions, he's played 59 games, scored 19 goals. That's pretty much a goal every three games. And then he's got 18 assists too. So he's always chipping in with a goal contribution, it seems. And he has an average match rating of 7.25. Honestly, when I was looking at Wonder Kids to Superstars, I was looking at what players to do. I was not expecting this guy to grow this much. Progress-wise, like I say, we are going to lose all the progress that we saw at the, in the Porto because it's not going to keep track of its all-time development because it's only since he joined Chelsea. But we can see physically he continued to grow quite a lot. Then he got a few developments in his mentals. For example, leadership and off the ball have gone up as well as in his anticipation. But he did start to grow a bit more technically with plus twos and plus ones across the board, making him just a really good all-round solid player. So remember guys, you can get him for like just over two million pounds, even if you wanted to really go out with your way and like buy him for the maximum. I think it was saying that the maximum they expect us to pay is like five or six million. So even if you negotiated it badly you'd be getting a really good player for a really good price I mean even at the age of 16 he looked pretty useful pretty handy I'm not saying he's going to walk into a Chelsea team at 16 but you know he has done really really well now it would be stupid of me if we didn't go and have a look at his career at his biography at his milestones let's go have a look at his milestones and see everything that he's won so we'll start off with competitions and see that with Porto he managed to by the looks of it win the Portuguese league every year so here is three years at Porto they won the cup pretty much every time by the looks of it they were just you, you can imagine he was dominant with that Porto team and he got his first international goal at the age of 19 for Turkey. Then in his years at Chelsea, he came runners-up in the Champions League. I haven't looked at this bit yet, by the way. He got an FA Cup. He won the Community Shield, won the Premier League, won the Community Shield again, then went on to win the Premier League once more and the Carabao Cup. So it doesn't look like he's had European success yet, but I do know that Chelsea got to a final, so they must have just lost. I think it was to Barcelona. So he did do really well for himself overall. Individual awards, what did he do? So basically at Porto, he got a few team of the weeks, got put in their best 11, all that good stuff. But then at Chelsea, 
Ducati, did he achieve anything bigger? He came runners-up in the Next Gen Award, who went on to win that one. The one that he came runners-up in, Yusuf Demir won, who is a player that we've looked at before, and we can see he is an incredible player, valued at around 150 million. So I'm not really blaming Barak for losing out there. Anything else that's quite interesting? A few team of the weeks, a few young player of the months, another young player of the month. Here's something interesting, named European Golden Boy in 2024. That's really good to see at the age of 20. Named in Chelsea's seasonal best 11, named in Turkey's seasonal best 11. Yeah, you get the idea. Lots of team of the weeks. Just a really good performance inducted into Turkey's overall best 11 too. So he's performing well in the Premier League and on an international stage. And anything else, he broke the League Cup record. It looks like he broke a few records for Porto basically for being young. But other than that, he's you can see he doesn't need to break records. He's an absolutely insane player. And the price you can get him for, even if he doesn't reach this level for you guys, which he definitely could do, but even if he doesn't, you're still going to be getting a top, top level player. I did say i wait until the end before revealing his potential range. So if you don't want to see that, do click off now. But his potential was between 140 and 170. I set it to 165. So you're seeing him at 165 here. He could be better than this. But when I loaded up a few saves, he was often around the 150 to 160 mark. Like I say, it can fall anywhere between that range. But I will let you know that his current ability was at like 140 when he finished at Porto. So basically what I'm trying to say is at his worst, he will be as good for you as he was at Porto, which was valued at like a £28 million player doing really well in the Portuguese division. So at the worst, you're going to get a player who is considered one of the best players in Porto's team. And at the best and the most regular thing you're probably going to get is this guy being at an elite level. Now he is one that flies under a lot of people's radars, of course, because most people don't have a Turkish second division loaded. But maybe in the future you guys will load it up just to bring him in and then next season you can delete the league from your save by going here and then add and remove leagues just here so that it doesn't affect your season. But yeah, he's an absolutely star player. I think you guys will all agree. This has been the most successful test I've done. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. If you have, don't forget to hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, comment down below if you did enjoy it and your recommendations for next time. And again, if you're feeling really nice, don't forget to check out my channel. It would mean a lot. So I hope I do see you in the next video, guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. Stay safe and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.